Hi there, working homeschool moms. This is Charlotte from Charlotte Jones 24-7 and My Little Homeschool. And this is episode number 99 of the Strike a Balance podcast for working homeschool moms. So today I'm going to be looking at the pros and cons of being a working homeschooling mom. You know, I'm such a cheerleader of this way of life, but I know it's so important to also look at the other side. So I list some of the cons that I've noticed or that I've experienced and that I've come across since I started this journey in 2017. And then obviously I will also share lots of the pros. I also want to let you know that next week's episode is episode number 100. What? I can't believe I've made it to 100 episodes. It's going to be a fun episode with lots more tips and everything I've kind of learned since I started as a working homeschool mom in 2017. There will also be an awesome giveaway. So be sure to tune into next week's episode to share it as well because that is how you are going to earn entries into the giveaway. But before we get to today's episode, I'd be ever so grateful if you could rate, review and subscribe to the podcast or forward the episode to a mom who's thinking about working and homeschooling, because I'm sure this episode will give her some insight into what it's really like to be a working homeschool mom. And let's build this wonderful working homeschool mom community together, because it's definitely a journey better taken with friends. Thank you so much and enjoy the episode. Hi there and welcome to the Strike a Balance podcast for working homeschool moms. This is Charlotte Jones. I'm your host and I am a podcaster, a speaker, a writer and a homeschooling coach specifically for working homeschool moms. I've been homeschooling my neurodivergent twin boys since 2017, and I've been a working homeschool mom since 2017. So I know it can feel really overwhelming to keep all the balls in the air all the time. So each week I chat about tips and strategies for being a happy and thriving working homeschool mom. I cover things like time management, homeschooling, mindset, and lots of other juicy topics like that. I also speak to awesome and inspiring women who manage to juggle homeschooling and work successfully and find out what their secrets are. And I also welcome experts who can help you on your working homeschool mom journey. I have lots of ways to support you, so be sure to check them out in the show notes. You can download my time order as your first step to managing your time better. I have a Facebook group for working homeschool moms that you can join as well. And be sure to sign up to my newsletter for weekly updates. And if you need additional support, you can join the WHM Collective, which is a supportive community of working homeschool moms where we delve deeper into topics that are going to help you thrive as a working homeschool mom. Or if you need one-to-one support, be sure to book in a session with me. I'm so excited for you to be here and I know you'll get so much value out of this episode. So let's get started. Working homeschool mom, I know how overwhelming it can be to choose a math curriculum for your homeschool. That's why I'd like to tell you about the online math curriculum we've been using for years, ctcmath.com. As far as math curriculums go, it has loads of great features that solve lots of the math issues we've had and I know a lot of homeschooling families have. Here are just a few of the many features that we really like. Questions are adaptive, which means the interactive questions change in difficulty depending on the student's ability. The program uses a smart algorithm that tracks the student's progress and delivers questions based on their exact needs. The student doesn't even know this is happening, helping them to build confidence and master math concepts. Concepts are delivered through video tutorials and summaries which are clear, complete and easy to follow. It's like having your very own teacher. This ensures your children understand something before they're asked to practice it. And then for us parents, CTC Math has extensive reports which are so valuable in monitoring your child's progress and spotting any gaps. And they offer a 12-month money-back guarantee if this curriculum is not for you and your family. CTC will provide a full refund, no questions asked. But I think the most important thing is a whole lot less stress when it's math time for both parents and kids. You get to outsource math with confidence and your kids get a fantastic tailor-made program that makes learning and mastering math enjoyable and positive. Visit CTC Math today to start your free trial. CTC Math is also offering you, listener, an amazing special. When you go to ctcmath.com forward slash MLH, you can get a half price discount plus a bonus six months for free. That's ctcmath.com forward slash MLH. 
H. Today I'm going to be looking at maybe some surprising pros and cons of working homeschool mom life. And this is a good episode if you're thinking about it or if you're still kind of new to the whole process. So I hope this episode is going to give you some insight so that you can really take those first steps with your eyes open. So I have to say that I want to support and encourage any woman who wants to be a working homeschool mom to give it a go. I've been on this path since 2017 and have, for the most part, never considered quitting. To be honest, I love it. That being said, I'm well aware that we're all very different and that we all have very different situations and realities and that this kind of lifestyle might not be for everyone or it might not be easy for everyone. So to, so today I want to be brutally honest about being a working homeschool mom. Let's look at, at both the pros and cons so that you can decide. And like I said, so you can take your first steps with your eyes open. So I'm someone who always wants the bad news first. So let's start by looking at the downsides of working homeschool mom life. The first thing that I've discovered is that you need to be a master scheduler. You have to be pretty organized to make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. And you'll probably need to live by your calendar and planner like I do. I know that people in my life get annoyed because I'm not super spontaneous. Sure, I love to hang out, but I can't just drop everything and go and have a drink. Unless that drink is on my calendar, I have other priorities. So if you're someone who prefers to take each day as it comes, loves spur-of-the-moment picnics and craves spontaneous getaways, then working homeschool mom life might be a little tough. The only way that I've seen to really thrive is with intentional scheduling and being really clear about your priorities. You need to be organized. And this is just not, not just from me, it's from lots of other working homeschool moms that I've spoken to. Of course, you could easily plan in your breaks, you could plan in your spontaneity, or you could have a job that you can do from anywhere at any time. And with this in mind, be sure to check out the Pivot Your Skills Summit that I'm taking part in. I'll leave the link in the show notes. It is an affiliate link. It is such a great summit if you want to turn the skills that you already have into a successful online business. I think it's on day two now when I'm recording this. And if you get the power pass, you're able to have access for, for life. So be sure to check that out. Like I said, I'll leave it in the show notes. But generally, whichever way you work, you will probably need to be a master scheduler in my experience. The WHM Collective is a monthly membership on Patreon that was created with you in mind, Working Homeschool Mom. If you're just starting out on your journey or if you're finding it difficult to find your groove, then the WHM Collective is definitely the membership for you. Each month, we delve into topics that are going to help you thrive as a working homeschool mom, such as homeschooling, schedules, time management, and lots of other juicy topics. I know how busy life is for you, working homeschool mom, and I know how complicated life is too. So that's why this membership is super simple. Each month, there's one live workshop, one ebook, and one session of office hours where you can have your questions answered in real time. In addition, you'll get one free coaching session per membership and an added bonus of having access to all past content, which you can work through in your own time. So if you're feeling like you need some additional support as a working homeschool mom, then I really hope that you will consider joining the WHM Collective because I know that it will help you so much to find clarity and to move forward in your working homeschool mom life. The next thing that is a con and can be hard to accept is that some things will have to go. It's not humanly possible to do everything. And as a working homeschool mom, you might feel like you need to, but trust me that this is only going to bring you heartache, exhaustion, and frustration. I love this quote from Dan Millman, and I like his take on the whole idea. I learned that we can do anything, but we can't do everything, at least not at the same time. So Anything is possible, but it's not all going to happen in one day. And I know it can be hard to, to accept that sometimes. Letting go of things is not easy, especially if you're like me, you're a perfectionist, or I consider myself a recovering perfectionist. Doing it all for me was always a badge of honor. I'm somebody that people think is capable of doing anything. And I'm not bragging in any way. On the contrary, it's an actual curse. 
it's meant that I've had to be really honest with myself and have needed to set boundaries much more rigidly. Otherwise, things just get piled on. Oh, Charlotte can do it. Ask her. You're going to have to let go of some things. You're going to have to send boundaries. I always talk about my house. Is My house is not spotless. It's one of the things I've really learned to let go of. Like I said, maybe hanging out with people on the spur of the moment. It's not something that I can manage in my busy schedule. Just a little tool that can actually help you figure out what should stay and what should go is to do a time audit. I've spoken about my time audit very, very often. It really is a good way to show you where your time leaks are and if you're spending time on things that are really important to you, which is what you should be doing. And lastly, I want to talk about what homeschool will look like and how it will probably look different. Homeschool for a working homeschool mom usually does look different. Once again, I know this from many working homeschool moms. And this is especially the case if you're working full time and out of the house. Homeschool looking different can, can have a few elements. So the first element that I have discovered is that most homeschool co-ops and homeschool activities are during working hours. It's because many homeschoolers are stay-at-home moms. So if you work during the day, you might miss these opportunities. And I know it can make you feel bad. It can make you feel guilty. It can make you feel like your homeschool isn't as good as the next person's homeschool. Obviously, this is not true. Don't compare yourself. <laughs> Another element that might look different to what you see on Instagram and Pinterest, which is definitely what I felt like when I started out, is how you homeschool. Lesson plans, resources, materials, these things take time and effort and you might not have the time or energy to homeschool in this way. I homeschool entirely on, online for this reason because it saves me the precious time and stress. But I have to say that it used to make me feel bad about how my kids were learning because it's not easy to be different and to have very high expectations of what homeschool should look like. It's that comparison trap that we often fall in. Okay, but enough about the negatives. Let's look at the pros of being a working homeschool mom. Like I said, I'm the ultimate working homeschool mom cheerleader. I want every mom who wants to do it to do it. So let's get into all the good stuff about working while home educating your kids. And there are lots. So I'm just going to list a few of my favorites. Homeschooling can be really flexible and you can easily work it around other tasks and responsibilities. And I think this is something that people don't realize, but you can homeschool whenever you want to. And that's super, super cool. You can also homeschool wherever you want to, which is also cool. You also need to do a lot less homeschooling than you think because the quality of education is just so much higher and you're able to create a learning environment that's just right for your kid. It means that you can do a lot more in a much shorter time. And if you're the parent of a neurodivergent child, you know that I am of neurodivergent twins you can create a really safe, supportive and effective homeschool for them. My kids have thrived since we started homeschooling. Public school was definitely not for them. So as a working homeschool mom, you also get to spend a lot of time with your kids. It's such a gift. It's not just, you know, at weekends or on holidays, you get to spend so much more time with, with your kids. And I love the fact that I help provide for my family and contribute to society while still educating my kids. It's incredibly rewarding, to be honest, to be able to have all those elements in your life. And if you're working from home, your kids get to learn about work and what's involved. You get to model having a good work ethic, setting boundaries. These life skills are invaluable. And at the same time, you also get to involve your kids in so many aspects of family life, from going to the supermarket to projects at home, all those kinds of things, they learn so much from these types of activities. And the bonding you do as a family is also a wonderful gift. I know we are very close as a family unit, and it's definitely because we homeschool. And finally, you can provide your kids with a safe environment. And I know this is a big consideration. The world feels like it's on fire at the moment, but you are able to provide your kids with a safe and supported home environment. So these are just a few of the many, many pros of working homeschool mom life. There may be cons, but I really believe that the positives far outweigh the negatives. Just a few final thoughts. If you're considering being a working homeschool mom and the cons are feeling really overwhelming, please don't quit or decide not to do it. Everything can be figured out with patience, motivation, and an open mind. If this is really something that you want to do, then you will figure it out. I've seen it time and time and time again. The beginning can be hard, but you will figure it out if it's really something that you want to do. It could be messy and frustrating at the beginning, but what important worthwhile thing isn't? And if you want some help to figure out this messy beginning, then I would love to help you. 
you can join the WHM Collective and come and find the support needed to take those first few steps with clarity and confidence. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Please let me know what your greatest takeaway was. You can reach out to me on Instagram at Charlotte Jones 24 7 or on my website at mylittlehomeschool.com or you could even drop me an email at hello at mylittlehomeschool.com. I'd be ever so grateful if you could rate, review and subscribe to the podcast. It will help spread the news about being a working homeschool mom and in that way we can build this wonderful supportive community together. Thank you so much for listening and until next time, take care. <music>